Vampire animes are one of the most popular and demanded by fans. Each anime is unique in its way. Every anime follows a different and unique storyline and plot. Be it a movie, a novel, or TV series, vampires have garnered a loyal fan base. So this means that manga could not take the backseat and had to produce some good content, and boy did they. Manga producing content means more anime. So in this video, we're going to tell you about the top 10 vampire anime. Number 10, Helsing Ultimate. Cheddar's people have called Helsing an organization that deals with demons and monsters. Helsing, an organization dedicated to destroying these supernatural forces that threaten the very existence of humanity. At its head is Integra Fairbrook Wingate's Helsing, who commands a powerful military and spends her life fighting the undead. Integra's vast army, however, pales in comparison with her ultimate weapon, the vampire Alucard, who works against his own kind as an exterminator for Helsing. Alucard destroys the creatures attacking Cheddar using his single handgun. Saras Victoria, a police officer, got hurt during the fight. Alucard gave her the choice of either dying or becoming a vampire and worked with him in his organization. She accepted Alucard's offer to live as a vampire and serve him by becoming a member of Helsing. Number 9. Blade being that this is a list of vampire anime, this one is exactly as you think it is. The Blade is a half-human, half-vampire, vampire hunter whose parents were killed by a very powerful vampire named Deacon. Deacon is a tall, white-haired, middle-aged man. On a mission when Blade went sent to Japan, he tracked Deacon Frost. It stays consistent with the same vampire lore of the original material and twists it into a unique setting. After taking him down, he confronts and kills Frost to avenge his parents. The anime is based on the famous comic book character of the same name created by Marvel Comics. Number 8. Tsukihime Type Moon's concept of vampire build upon many different specific rules, some of which are more stereotypical, while others are founded on logical principles surrounding their existence. As such, you may find the exploration of vampires in Tsukihime quite delectable, in the sense that you can immerse yourself in the nature of their being. Shiki Tuno was involved in an injury in his childhood because of his incident. His family sent him to a relative's house for his upbringing. During the school days of Tuno, his father died and his sister Akiha, who became a new leader of the household, made him drop out. Some characters in particular would strike your curiosity about their true identities more than others. Number 7. Black Blood Brothers This show doesn't exactly stand out due to its normal badass war hero return premise. Its vampires are basically just a backdrop to the relationships of the characters as well. Ten years after the Holy War in Hong Kong, Mochizuki Jirao, the Silver Blade, who fought and defeated the Kowloon children despite losing his lover, returns to Japan with his younger brother, Mochizuki Kotaro. They discover that the Kowloon children who happened to survive the Holy War are looking to invade an area called the Special Zone, a city where the children are forbidden unless they are invited. Red Bloods are the humans, Black Bloods are the vampires, and the Mochizuki brothers are Old Blood, the very last descendants of an elite group of ancient vampires. However, when Kotaru is abducted by the Kowloon children, Jirao has no choice but to fight the children to the death for the second time. Number 6. Shiki Imagine your city was supposedly plagued by vampires. What would you do in such a situation? The plot of Shiki is based on such a situation. 15-year-old Megumi Shimizu dreamed of a glorious life in the big city. However, her unexpected death in the quiet village of Sotoba marks the beginning of what appears to be a ferocious epidemic that turns the hot summer into a season of blood and terror. A young doctor named Toshio Ozaki begins to doubt the nature of the disease and comes to understand that to discover the truth, he must abandon his humanity. Meanwhile, Natsuno Yuki, an antisocial youth from the city, is haunted by the sudden death of Megumi and must realize the pain of friendship in the face of his own tragedy. Shiki goes beyond the average vampire story. Shiki explores the boundary that separates man from monster. Number 5. Kurozuka Kurozuka, much like Vampire Hunter D, creates this narrative framework that firmly establishes the motives of the protagonist as well as the past that also drives his decisions. However, the ironic thing is that much as there is information on the character's background, a good number of events are usually just left open to the audience to imagine. Most importantly, the comprehensive explanation of the nature of vampiric entities seems to have been left out in the series. Nevertheless, its combination of history, sci-fi, and fantasy still mesh well enough for it to become an absolute recommendation. Number 4. Vampire Hunter D This anime has a cool and fierce-looking protagonist in the form of D. D, who's a vampire hunter, 
He is considered to be the best in the world in what he does. Charlotte, a young woman, is abducted by Baron Mayor Link, a vampire nobleman who is known not to harm humans needlessly. Charlotte's father, John Elbone, hires Dee, a damphir, to find her and rescue her and alternatively kill her humanly if she's been turned into a vampire. He offers Dee $500,000 as a down payment and offers him $10 million if he carries out the job. Dee has Elborn double the payment and agrees to search for Charlotte. Dee has been hired to track down Mayor Link, a notoriously powerful vampire who has abducted a human woman, Charlotte Elborn. Dee must intercept Mayor and conquer hostile forces on all sides in a deadly race against time. Vampire Hunter is dark, well-written, and well-animated. It's a great addition to the collection of different vampire animes out there and very enjoyable for those who want more gothic taste to their vampire stories. Number 3. Sirius the Aegir A rather odd entry on the standard serving menu of PA works, this series twists the vampire lore a bit with a transformation trick meant for lesser forms of their species. If the occupation of Vampire Hunter isn't obvious enough for you, then maybe the designation of wolves by the protagonist family line should give you an indication of the regularity of this series' action. While the overall conflict can be predictable, the shounen genre format and art animation style make it very thrilling to watch. A feast for the eyes, as they say. Number 2. Devil's Line Vampires exist in society with humans. The government or police have no idea of their existence as they do not require blood for their lives. But they get uncontrollable monsters and their lust for blood increases when they get angry. The idea of vampires in the series simply extends more or less to ordinary creatures of the night. While the story itself is solid and romantic points understandable enough, it kind of struggles to lift itself up among other better entries on this list that have similar conflicts and action. Number 1. Blood Plus this particular series shakes up the definition of a vampire, although functionally, its primary antagonists still remain quite similar. While the action and character development take up a good amount of the show's level of excitement, it's a slow lore building that keeps its audience watching and speculating until the end. Saya Otonashi is an ordinary girl living an ordinary life with her adoptive family in Okinawa City. Her only characteristics outside of the norm are the fact that she has constant anemia and no worries of the previous year. But Saya's past comes back to her in an instant when she is attacked by a creature that feeds on human blood. When things seem at their bleakest, a man named Haji appears at her side and temporarily defeats the creature. Things seem safer, but when Haji forces Saya to drink the creature's blood, Saya kills the monster with no problem and uses her own blood as a source. Saya learns of an organization named Red Shield founded to defeat the hellish beasts. Saya and Haji now work together to defeat the monsters and rescue Saya's past. The anime vampires community is a fan of Blood Plus and it's very easy to see why. Its story is lovely and the characters interact very well with it. They don't feel separated at all and everything about the two feels natural and well written. It's definitely a jewel in the crest of the vampire genre.